Hi, I'm Kendall Salter, Island Packet Sports Reporter here, as always, with multimedia extraordinaire Josh Middleman. Josh, it is finally time for March Madness, and it begins tonight with the first four. How excited are you for this tournament? Ultra excited for the tournament. You know, even if you barely watch all season long, this event, the tournament, is always exciting just by the very nature of it. What are some of the matchups in the first round Thursday and Friday? Obviously we have first four games the next two nights, but that full first round slate, what are you looking forward to the most? Not just saying this because Georgia is considered somewhat local. Georgia, Michigan State, Georgia hasn't hasn't been in the tourney since 2011. I believe that they did win a game in 2011, but if Mark Fox's team uh, can down Michigan State, one of the storied programs in, in college hoops, that's a in college hoops, that's a landmark win for Georgia. They're a 10, taking on the Spartans, who are a seven. So that'd be a big win for the Bulldogs also. And then I'm gonna let you go, Wofford versus Arkansas. Wofford's never won a tournament game, and uh, they're playing pretty well. They're a 12 seed. Yeah, one of two Palmetto State uh, teams in the tournament, the other being Coastal Carolina. Mm -hmm. They're again a 16 seed, going up against number one seed and my future champion, Wisconsin Badgers. Oh, wow. uh, again, Coastal took Virginia right to the wire last year. So this could happen again. I mean, we, we could be in for a shock. So one of these days, a 16 is going to beat a one. Yep. For my bracket's sake, I'm hoping it's not this year, but it could happen. It'd be a lot of fun if it did. Um, games I'm really looking forward to, Indiana, Wichita State, I think is the, the cream of the crop in terms of first round matchups. Yeah. People forget this Wichita State team, which lost to Kentucky in the second round last year, was 34-0 and at that point. And, and they went to the final four the year before that. They still have a couple players from those teams. They're a very, very good team and a very dangerous team. Indiana is gonna have their hands full. Indiana's a great shooting team, but not very good on the defensive end. What comes after that is a possible matchup with Kansas. Now that would be fantastic. Those two teams, Kansas and Wichita State, have been trying to avoid each other for years. I think more on the Kansas side. So that'd be great if they matched up in a round of 32 game. Uh, the other team that is kind of interesting, not just because it's my alma mater, but UCLA, by far the most controversial pick to be in this field. I don't think they deserved the slot, but I can understand why they were selected. Mm -hmm. And part of that could be some of that UCLA brand, but also they have been playing a little bit better and they have a couple of great players to watch like Kevon Looney, a star freshman who's probably going to go to the NBA after this year. They face their old coach, Larry Brown, uh, late of every NBA team. Uh, the, one of the only coaches to win an NCAA title and an NBA title now takes SMU to the dance as a sixth seed. So that's a game to watch out for, if only for the controversy. Uh, a lot of great matches, and of course, keeping your eye on 34-0 Kentucky. They are the clear favorite in this tournament, and they uh, are going to have a tough road, just like every team. But I think we're both excited to get this thing going. Can't wait till Thursday.